Blessed be the barley. Welcome to the first video on the Handmaid's Ale. I'm Hannah and I am the Handmaid's Ale. Today I thought we would start off by doing something that is local to me. So I'm a Hampshire girl, I was born and bred here before moving um, all over the country. But I'm back here now, so I thought let's start off with something that I know and love very much. Today's ale is Boondoggle from the Ringwood Brewery. So a little bit about the Ringwood Brewery. It was founded in 1978 and it's been brewing ever since then. It recently was sold to Marston's, which is a much uh, bigger and better known brewer. So their first ales were Best Bitter and 49er, which were brewed basically just for the local pubs. Ringwood's very famous for its pubs. It's been a pub hub since the medieval times and during history there, it was one of the highest quotas for pubs per head in the country. So that's pretty impressive. So. So they started off brewing just 49er and Best Bitter, but then they branched out in 1979, I believe, to do um, Old Thumper, sorry, I have my notes, um, which is now like their flagship beer. That's the one that is most common and you'll see outside of Hampshire. So on that note, Ringwood Brewery is the most popular craft ale brewed and drunk in Hampshire and along the Solent, so it branches out into Dorset and West Sussex. You probably can see these ales in other stores like Waitrose and specialist beer shops throughout the country, um, but it is a little bit rarer to see it on tap in pubs outside of the South Coast. So a little bit about the beer, it is called Boondoggle, it's one of their more recent brews, um, they don't do that many, but Boondoggle is actually an American word which uh, was coined in the 1920s. It actually means work of little value, which the brewery has taken to mean jolly or worth a pint, basically. So the bottle says, we take two things seriously at Ringwood Brewery, our beer and our leisure time. Along with creating cra quality craft ales, we are relaxation enthusiasts. Our motto is to visit the winding downs, a place to enjoy some quality time with friends. Our blonde boondoggle is a deliciously fruity ale affectionately crafted to savour and satisfy. Best enjoyed with a few nuts. Unfortunately, I don't have any nuts, so we'll just have to enjoy the beer itself. So because the beer is an ale, I have served it at a cellar temperature, so between 10 and 14 degrees is perfect, so keep it in a cool, dark space. And it is 4.2%, so this bottle is 2.1 units. A pint would probably be about 2.3. And it has the Hampshire symbol, which is the boar, which I appreciate. So let's pop this open. Apparently on the scent, it should be um, hoppy and citrusy. So, got a nice fizz. From the bottle, you can definitely smell the hops. Not so much the citrus, so let's pour it out. Apologies for the glassware. I haven't got a blank pint glass, unfortunately, yet. Okay. A little carbonation. So, on the nose, you can't really smell the hops. Very, very hoppy. I'm still not getting the citrus, but maybe that's just my nose. And the colour is a lovely golden yellow. Bit more orange for a blonde than I would expect, but hey. So let's give it a taste. Mmm. It's a lot more carbonated than an ale that I would usually go for. It's sort of 
halfway between an ale and a lager on the carbonation front, but it's very tasty. The aftertaste is very mild, but the first taste really packs a punch. It has a lot of citrus, but it's nice. It's not a lemony citrus. It's a little bit more of an orange citrus. It's sweeter and it doesn't have that tart bitterness that you expect from a citrus beer. So pleasantly surprising. I actually haven't tried this one before because I tend to go for Old Thumper or 49er when I have a ring with beer. So gets a thumbs up from me. All in all, I give Boondoggle four out of five stars. The carbonation put me off a little bit, but the flavors were incredible. It's definitely the sort of beer that I can imagine sitting, drinking quite a few pints of outside in the beautiful Hampshire sunshine. I hope you enjoyed that first little taster of the Handmaid's Ale. New episodes will be up every Wednesday probably in the evening British time, depending on what I'm doing with my day. Not sure what I'll be trying next week, possibly something European. And obviously it goes without saying, please drink responsibly. Until next time, bye.